Okay, when you make a test comparing the uh, ohm meter to the insulation tester, then uh, you actually should have the equipment up to operating temperature. Now you can hear I have this thing running. I'm going to shut it off and then I'm going to check those uh, windings to ground. Okay, here we have the ohmmeter checking this thing at operating temperature. Now this is kind of interesting. Now look at this. This is changing. Even as I'm testing, it's going up higher and higher. Now you see it just went up to OL. Let's try the insulation tester and see what it says. Okay, 250 volts. Okay, it's showing, well, it's going up too. Okay, I'm just holding it on. So it's kind of doing the same thing, isn't it? Uh, the longer you leave it on there, the higher it goes. I noticed that the uh, the ohm meter just blanked out and went to OL after a little after 40 some. This one just seems to keep going up, so it's probably doing a little better job simply because it's putting the 250 volts into it. Uh, so our insulation tester is a better idea than a simple ohm meter that will read big ohms. Looks like they probably are. And should this compressor be replaced? Because it's reading, well, 50 mega ohms right now. Went down to as low as uh, 20 something. So, what do you think?